Hi from Dublin. I've been here around three and a half hours and I already did some shopping. So I thought might as well start on my haul now. And then in theory, I can add the things that I buy tomorrow in like the next few days and then maybe end with like a little piece of stuff from home. Uh, but yeah, a fun different setting, fun different goodies. So uh, let me show you what I got. First, actually, I'm gonna start with this bag. This bag is from TK Maxx. I saw it when I was going to pay for a necessity purchase and I thought it's so cute. I love the baby print that is just on here. It was 129. It's officially their smaller bag because it's not as wide as some of their shopping bags. But that was actually perfect. I did of course bring a tote with me, but it felt you know extra special to be wearing this. Diving into the bag first, I actually purchased a iPhone charger cable. This is from the brand Fresh and Rebel. It's actually a Dutch brand. I have this one in a different color, so you know it was good. The charger cable was around 10 euros. So a a bit more than I wanted to spend on like an extra cable, but still okay enough. Then at Deals, which is very similar to Poundland, but then in Euro country, I got cling film from one Euro 50. I did want to bring the travel cling film that I got in New York with me, but because I only had my small backpack with me, it didn't actually fit in there. So I thought might as well just pick it up here. I picked up two of the Milky Bar white chocolate buttons. These were two Euro each. These are the best. These are far superior to the Cadbury ones. So if you are in a Poundlet or deals, definitely pick these up. More food stuff at Marks and Spencer's. Yay, the food hall. I'm so happy to visit them again. I got a chicken tikka wrap with Irish chicken breast, tikka sauce, and yogurt dressing. As sort of in-between snack, I'm gonna have dinner quite late today. So this is gonna be my sort of a very late lunch, like a tea time food pre-dinner or something or another. Anyway, to accompany the ticker wrap, I have the iced tea Spanish pizza. I already drank some of it. It's lovely. It's super fresh. It's super, well, as it says on here, refreshing and thirst quenching. So that is perfect. And then as snackies, I saw from Kiyok, Kiyok, I think, this Atlantic sea salt and sweet Irish vinegar. So salt and vinegar uh, crisps, chippies, so that is gonna be a fun snack. I'm not sure if it will survive the trip, so it will probably be the snack for here. And then of course, books. Very excited, already visited two of the works. One of them actually already twice today. What you do when there's a works nearby, you go to any of them often and always. Anyway, uh, the works has the three for five pounds deal that is now three for six pounds. And here in Ireland, it's three for nine euros. So it's a bit of a, steeper curve than how much six pounds would be but still very happy that i can pick up books for three euros a piece so that was very exciting um in the first store in the omni park shopping center lovely i could have probably easily bought 12 books there that would have been amazing but also not a possibility so i stuck with three I got How to Fake It in Hollywood by Ava Wilder, You Again by Lauren Lane, Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey, which is actually the third one in the installment. They did also have Lover or Lose Her, which is this yellow one. The back didn't immediately attract me. Friends told me in the meantime on Instagram that I should try and get it. And I do also wanna see if I can try and find Fix Her Up. So we'll see if that happens. And then outside of this specific deal of three for nine euros. I did also get the Looking Out for Love for four euro and 50 cents, still amazing deal. And then the one in the north city of Dublin, the ILEC Center, ILEC, I think it's ILEC Center. I first did a round, I was honestly a bit disappointed in the three for nine euro books. In my second round around the store, an hour later, because the works is open until eight o'clock, I'm so happy, or this specific one at least is, I saw that they had a different sale section where they still had a few books. And I picked up the Kiss Curse, which was 7.50 and it's now 4.50, perfect. And this is actually the second book in the series of um, these witchy books by Erin Sterling. Also the X-Hex is from her and I actually picked that one up when I was in the, the work store in the Stratford shopping center in London. So it's nice that I have the first book and now I have the second book. And also it's of course very, very nice that I have five books <laughs> that I bought today on the first, literally in the first few hours that I was in Dublin. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see how this grows, but 
I will at least keep them safe with the cling film that I got. So yeah, that's it for today. It's only Saturday. We're still here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I have a duffel bag with me. This should work. This is day two and we did some more exploring and some more shopping and I picked up a few fun things. Quick present for mom, some crispy cheese crackers from M&S Food. Hopefully she likes that. Then at the TK Maxx in Swords, I actually picked up this cute kitchen container, Living the Good Life. I really liked it and I thought this would be perfect for my silicone tools for a kitchen spatula and things. Then at at Afoka, such a fabulous store, I actually picked up a pair of socks. I got these really cool sort of knee socks. They are of this pretty print. It's a dark blue sock with colorful flowers. Avoca estimated 1723 and they have cute pink bows here and um, yeah they were more than I would normally spend on a sock but I love the print and I love Avoca and I'm really happy that I'm back. So uh, treat yourself. And of course, I went to the works and picked up a few more <laughs> books. Well, of course, I went to the works and picked up a few more books. I got Beth O'Leary, The Switch. I actually saw already this one at the Omni Park shopping center, The Works, and I got a lot of DMs that this was actually a really good book. So I decided to pick it up in this sort of uh, second, no, third round around a The Workshop. Then I also saw this one, Murder at the Summer Fed. Um, I don't know the writer, I don't know the series, and then I read the back and um, life has settled back to normal for bookshop owner Nancy Hunter, but then the annual village fed is just around the corner, blah blah blah, and then a body is discovered at the summer fed. So it feels like a really cozy sort of Midsummer Murders vibe kind of book. Unfortunately, this is a number two in a series. Victoria Walters has written another one number one and also number three has just come out so hopefully you can still find number one in the shops here i don't think number three will be in the three for nine euros um group yet but you know might be fun if that still happens but hopefully at least i can still find number one and then i also picked up this one fly me to paris um, I think I'm still 20 years too young for this book. It's about a second chance later in life. The main character has just turned 50. She's going to start in Paris as a cabin crew attendant. Again, I think I'm slightly too young for this book, but it feels very wholesome and cozy. I love Paris. I like the idea of traveling. So um, I'm just gonna read it and enjoy it. Huh, and also actually now, but now I see it, the Twice in a Lifetime by uh, Helga Jensen, so the same author, is actually on my to-read list. So this should be good. And also, if I just would have picked up these two, it would have been eight euros. And then this one made it nine. So um, there was, yeah, there was definitely a B choice, but there was no other book that was a B choice. Like the rest of them were D, E and F choices for me. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with these. So yeah, that was it for the first full day in Dublin. I'm excited to see where the rest of this video is going. <laughs> Hello from shopping day three. It is currently Monday and I had a combination of a really successful shopping day and also I didn't do that much damage all over the whole of the day. It was more very much focused in the early morning hours. Because today I took a coach from Dublin city center to Kildare village where there actually is an outlet center or the village is an outlet center and there is a kids faith there, which is very fun. It was an easy trip. Unfortunately on the way back, my bus didn't show up. So I had to wait another half an hour for mine to actually arrive. That was unfortunate. But what wasn't unfortunate is that I got something fabulous from the Kate Spade store. So um, you get everything in a box. It's lovely packaged. And I got this beauty case. It is the Spade Flower Jacquard Cream Multi. Yeah, that's it. It's actually a boutique item. So it was not made for outlet. And one of the surrounding boutiques had it left over a stock. It was sent to the outlet. It was marked down in price. It was also on clearance. So I think this might've been in a shop for a while. And then when you spend 50 euros or more, you would get another 30% off. So that was really fun. So while yes, this is a beauty case or a vanity case, I think I will be using it for tools and planner supplies and pens and whatnot. So inside here, just removing some of the tissue paper, uh, actually great tissue paper because I need it for wrapping my things to bring with me to home is so the top looks like this and then the inside looks like 
this. There's a compartment here with an elastic a zip compartment. Then this is fully sort of open. You do have some elastics here to put, for instance, some um, serum bottles or shampoo bottles and everything there. But I think, again, because this is such a large space that I can use it for tools and scissors and pens and everything and uh, either keep it nice on my desk or for instance focus on it to bring with me to planner dates and crafty dates and have everything in one giant pen case then on the way back to dublin the bus actually stopped at the red corner luas um bus stop it's it's a uh, the luas is a sort of metro tram like system and that could take me to Talak, Talak, I think, which was a, um, a the, to the square, the shopping center of the square in Talak. And um, there was a the works there and I misbehaved. So I got six books, two times three books each for nine euros. And I got Made in Manhattan from Lauren Lane, which is, I got another book from Lauren Lane earlier in this trip, so that is fun. Then I also got Sorry I Missed You, from Lorraine Brown. This is 21 Nights in Paris from Leonie, Leonie Mack. Very much looking forward to reading those. And then also I got number two in the Fix It series. I think so. Lover or Loser by Tessa Bailey. So this is number two and I already got number three on the first day. And then I also was able to pick up numbers two and three, no, one and three in this series by Victoria Walters. So this is Murder at the House on the Hill and this is Murder at the Village Church. So I'm feeling that this is gonna be all the Great British Bake Off meets Midsummer Murder vibes. I'm very excited that I now have a full set. I already put these in my Amazon cart, um, but they were around six pounds there so it's lucky that i could still pick them up for three euros a piece definitely went a bit overboard with books um but it, oh, they're so cheap and they're so fun and they also by the way all work with my billy bouquet so the ruler says yes and um i am just gonna work extra hard to package these with some cling film to keep them all safe and then um, they should still fit in my luggage otherwise i have tuesday to sort that out and um, buy a bigger bag or something back home and time for day four of my haul so the tuesday was our last day it was our travel day but we are still able to pick up some fun stuff so this bag is actually from oliver bonus i didn't know they were in dublin so i didn't do my research well enough but thankfully we stumbled upon the store and i found this cutie this is a little orange trinket tray or ring dish it was eight euros tiny bit expensive but for all of her bonus i feel it's a quite a good price this was also available in strawberry unfortunately not lemon because i then would have thought to have bought the lemon one but still orange is so fun so cute and it will look great on my bedside table or like near my uh where i do the dishes so i can take off my rings and keep them safe then at tk maxx i picked up so many cute goodies one of them is stationery the other stuff is beauty and i want to say that sort of since i went to new york with mela and we you know looked at all the beauty stuff and also when she was in Rotterdam very recently i went together to the tk maxx she sort of showed me like all the cute beauty stuff that is in there so i definitely picked up a bit from there but first off i got the joyful journal this is a journal that helps you um brighten up your day and sort of find out what joy is or what joy is for you this was six euros it looks really cute and then inside you have all these prompts of exercise that you do to um yeah find your joy i have a few of these already all found in the tkmx by the way but um this one i didn't have yet and i thought for 2024 it might be cute to use this in my sort of planner lineup then to beauty i already was on the lookout for a uh, shampoo brush or like a scalp brush and i found one i really like the combination of the teal and the lilac or the purpley color this was six euros so this is going to be fun to use when i'm doing my hair speaking of hair i found this at the sale section it was only two euro fifty and i was also slightly on the lookout for a new brush that i could use for travel this is a sort of fake tangle tweezer it has the really soft bristles but they should help you get knots out the color is cute it's a flower it was two euro fifty so yeah i took it with me then the sibling to something i already picked up in rust 
awesome. This is Beauty Slip from YS, Yes Studio, sorry. And it is a sort of aromatherapy set with a bath oil, a pillow spray, and a roller ball. And this one is in a scent lavender, sandalwood, and mandarin. I already picked up the one that is more energizing, but I like that this one is more of like making you ready to go to sleep. So that was a fun purchase at 11 euros. Also at 11 euros, this pumpkin spice lip kit. I already had to take it apart to put it in my luggage, but in there were a little lip balm in a cute little tube, and then a lip scrub and a lip mask. And then finally, I got two more books. <laughs> kind of ashamed also I'm not ashamed kind of hesitant to tell you uh yeah two more at the works I picked up celebrations at the chateau by Joe Thomas and yes while this was part of the three for nine euros I did just buy this one so that it was the normal price of four euros still very 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 affordable and slightly more than I honestly thought to spend but also it was fine I picked this up fixer up by Tessa Bailey at Hodges figures which is the bookstore of Dublin and it's very similar to the water Stone, so everything was lovely the people were nice and I felt like yeah it was such a good place to buy a book uh, this one was 13 euros so more than the others I bought in this set because they went for three euros at the works but now I have the full set because this is book one I already picked up book three on the first day and book two on the second day so no wait was it the second day maybe the third anyway happy me very happy and this makes the total of books purchased 16 books for 62 dollars which is quite a big amount but also not for 16 books because it makes every book three euro and 88 cents so that is such a steal i am so happy with it and yeah this definitely was the outlier at 13 euros but i do feel that 13 euros is actually quite a good price for paper bags in stores especially here in the netherlands some of these books i see lying around for 18 to 21 euros so then 13 is still a good price so all in all a very fun trip with some great shopping we also saw a lot of fabulous things when we were walking around the city and dinner and food everything was just lovely and very very nice and especially of course pleased with all the books that i got and the kate spade goodie if you want to see more of my dublin adventures i have included the link to my highlight on instagram and if you want to know any of my favorite places definitely leave a comment down below if you'd like this video please give it a thumbs up see you next time in my next video Bye.